My days with you have been brief, but they have been days of great grace for me, and I pray for you too. Please now, thus, that as I prepare to leave, I do so with a heart full of gratitude and hope. I'm grateful to all of you and to the many others who worked so hard to make my visit possible and to prepare for the warm meeting of families. In a particular way, I thank the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, the civil authorities, the organizers, and all the many volunteers and benefactors who assisted in ways large and small. I also, I also thank the families who shared their witness during the meeting. It is not so easy to speak openly of one's life journey. But their honesty and humility before the Lord and each of us showed the beauty of family life in all its richness and diversity. I pray that our days of prayer and reflection on the importance of the family for a healthy society will inspire families to continue to strive for holiness and to see the church as their constant companion whatever the challenges they might face. At the end of my visit, I would also like to thank all those who prepared for my study in the Archdiocese of Washington and New York. It was particularly moving for me to canonize San Junipero Serra, who reminds us all of all called to be missionary disciples. And I was also very moved to stand with my brothers and sisters of other religions at ground zero, that place which speaks so powerfully of the mystery of evil. Yet we know with certainty that evil never has the last word. <laughs> and that in God's merciful plan, love and peace triumph over all. Mr. Vice President, I ask you to renew my gratitude to President Obama and to the member of Congress, together with assurance of my prayers for American people. This land has been blessed with tremendous gifts and opportunities. I pray that you may be all be good and generous stewards of the human and material resource entrusted to you. I thank the Lord that I was able to witness the faith of God's people in this country 
as manifest in our moments of prayer together and evidence in so many works of charity. Jesus says in the scriptures, truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. You are kind for me, and your generous welcome are a sign of your love for Jesus and for your faithfulness to him. So too is your care for the poor, the sick, the homeless, and the immigrant, your defense of life at every stage, and your concern for family life. In all of this, you recognize that Jesus in your midst and that you care for one another is care for Jesus himself. As you leave, I ask all of you, especially the volunteers and benefactors who assisted with the world meeting the families, do not let your enthusiasm for Jesus, his church, our families, and the broader family of society run dry. May our days together bear fruits that will last generosity and care for others that will endure. Just as we have rece received so much from God, gift freely given us and not for our, our making, so let us freely give to others in return. Dear friends, I embrace all of you in the Lord. And I entrust you to the maternal care of Mary Maculay, patroness of the United States. I will pray for you and your families. And I ask you, please, to pray for me. My, may God bless you all. God bless America.